Ayan. Okay. So, ito medyo, ito magkakaroon na tayo ng photos finally. So, diniscuss natin so far, motivations, reasons for doing this, terminologies like sausage fest, and then we discuss what is gender. We have a basic definition and we have a more layered, a more academic or a more philosophical discussion of what is gender. So now we go to the concept or at least the discussion of what is representation. Kasi important din to. So bakit? There is one way to understand representation as a mediatic facsimile. Ano yung sabihin nun? It means representation as something that is a copy of what is real from the world. In in some conversations, you can probably use mimesis or mimetic, pero mimesis in itself also has different meanings when you when you go to art studies. No? But nevertheless, let's say na lang na there is an idea of representation as a copy of what is real. So if you want to go to more detailed discussions of what is representation and percept in relation, pero pang aspect of this which is perception, uh, you can go to Plato, you have yung Kantian, yung that things in themselves if you go to, to philosophy. And John Roberts is contemporary theorist yan ng photography. Yan. So John Roberts, uh, ginagamit namin siya sa class. And the idea is that uh, the idea of photography is copying what exists in the world. So one of the way, ways we view photo a photograph is it's a copy of what exists. So we call that representation. We will we'll have we'll have an example later now. So in Tagalog siguro pinakamalapit na naisip ko is that photography representation is yung pagkakahawig. Another way of understanding representation is participation or the presence in a state of affairs meaning uh we can say na con congressmen when we vote our our you know, our congressmen and women well yun nga, even even yung term na congress women no i think din na siya ginagamit when we talk about congressmen it also it's a it's already you know inclusive of of both male and female but nevertheless so when we vote for our for our government officials it is us being represented in that state of affairs so when you go naman to photography ang tanong diyan is meron bang mga babae sa Philippine photography? So in the state of affairs, sa pangyayari, or or in Philippine photography as a state of affairs, meaning a field of, of theory and practice, meron mga babae dyan. So, so that is yung second definition, which is participation or presence in a certain discourse. So in Tagalog, we can siguro at least summarize it as pakikibahagi. So tandaan nyo lang yung pagkakahawig as compared to pakikibahagi. Okay. Ito ginagamit ko to sa class to just to make a distinction about connotation and den den denotation and connotation. Pero at least a little bit of a mental exercise, no? So, ano to? So, this is a painting. Wala pa tayo sa photography, ah. We're still in painting. So, this is a painting by, ano, by Rene Magritte. The title is Treasury of Images. So, research nyo lang kung sino si Rene Magritte. And also, I only use this at the beginning of my class because again, I, I, I focus on Philippines. So I only use this in terms of the theory foundations. So, but nevertheless, if you read this, obviously in the French, so I have to translate it in English. So the, that, 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 that sentence or that phrase in the bottom part of the painting in French, in translation in English, so the English translation is, this is not a pipe. So when you look at this painting with that word below. So if I ask you, is this a pipe? Actually, yun yung exercise kaya to ginagamit in cl other classes when it comes to semiotics. So if you're asked, is this a pipe? Sasabihin mo, this is not a pipe. Kasi nakasunod, this is not a pipe. And yet, the visual load 
of that brown thing at the top is a pipe or quote unquote a representation of the pipe. Ayan. So so medyo ginagamit to in in art studies as an example wherein you have to be aware of the distinction between denotation and connotation, what is appearance and what is meaning. So ginagamit yan sa art studies. And so if I ask you, is this a pipe? Sabi mo, yes, it is a pipe because it looks like a pipe. It's a representation of a pipe. And yet the word down eh, sa baba, sa bottom, it represents the idea of it not being a pipe. Language itself is a representation of the world. No? So condensed into verbal and textual demonstrations. Yun yung idea of language. And visual language. Ano pa yun? Extended yun, yung visual language. Nevertheless, so the way I have to explain this to my class is that if we're going to discuss this and if we ask the question, if I ask the question, is this a pipe? What, I'm, what I want to answer, if I'm going to answer my own question, I'm going to say that this is not a pipe. This is a representation of a pipe. So, I be saying on that this is I cannot just pull this image from my screen and then put tobacco and then create smoke out of it. That's not how, how it works. What I see is just an appearance. It's a quote unquote representation of something that exists in the world, which we think we consider conventionally in our cultures or in different cultures as something that is quote-unquote labeled as a pipe. And yet, it is just a representation wherein the attributes of what we see is different from the actual pipe. We, it's not three-dimensional. We cannot hold it. We cannot create smoke out of it. Then technically, it just looks like a pipe, but it's not a pipe. So yun din yung reason kung bakit si Margaret para pinaglalaruan niya yung idea of, of language, representation, semiotics, and quote-unquote art. Kaya yung libel sa baba, sa baba, this is not a pipe. So yun yung, yun yung, description, this, yung description of this. No? So this is an example of representation. Mag, the way we read this is that this is not a pipe. Tama yung libel because this is not a three-dimensional object in our reality wherein we take it, hold it, put tobacco, and then create smoke out of it. No, it's just an image. However, if you go to higher studies or of perception, we can say that that is actually a pipe. Our, con our con conventions of language, conventions of meaning, is that the appearance itself is a demonstration of existence. So and that, that could be phenomenology and epistemology. I mean, sa philosophy na I mean, hindi rin ako, again, hindi ako professor ng philosophy. But merong mga terms na ginagamit doon sa idea na yun na if there is a word for it or if it can be perceived, then, then it will exist. Regardless, if it's not a one-to-one -one correspondence to the object itself. So, sa linguistics, ginagamit din yung discussion. Yun. But nevertheless, so yun yan. So, just to emphasize the idea of representation as an appearance or pagkakahawig or quote-unquote facsimile. So, ayan. So, ngayon, people will say, so that, that's, ano, that's the idea of what is representation. Now, we connect it with photography. Kasi yung nakita ninyo, that is not a photograph. That is a painting. However, it was scanned. So technically, it's still a photograph. No? I mean, sa media studies, ito yung mga questions na yung last kanina, was that a painting? Technically, it's also not a painting. It's a representation of a painting. Di ba? Yun yung, yun yung conception nun. Now, it was not, it's not a painting. It's not something that exists three-dimensionally in our physical world. It was a two-dimensional image on a screen and that is actually a photograph. But nevertheless, let's not go into that. No, media studies na yun. So, let's just assume that that pipe was represented in a painting. Yun na lang, up to that. But again, just to let you know, since we are teachers, I have to make it, I just have to make that clarification that it is possible to say that it's also a photograph because it is not painting. It's a photograph of a painting or a scan copy of a painting. So, so yun yung idea then.
So now we go to photography as representation of the world. So napag-usapan natin yung representation, pagkakahawig at pagkakibahagi. And then now we're connecting it with photography. Kasi kayo na painting yun, di ba? So ngayon, okay. Nilagyan mo na ng R1, R2 kasi we're going to do some exercises. <laughs> Teacher talaga, no? So, tandaan nila natin to, no? So representation as mediatic facsimility. Pa, facsimily. So paki, pagkakahawig. And then there's R2, which is representation as participation, being part of. Being part of. So, yun yung pakikibahagi. So, yan. everyone knows who this, I mean, this person. No? So, I hope you know this person. If you're a photographer and you're watching this podcast, I hope you know this person. So, so ayan, nakita nyo naman yung niya. So, si, si Joanne yan, si Miss Joanne. So, Joanne Bondok. Yan, may mga photos na tayo. So, itatanungin natin. So, ang question is, so, is this Joan Bondok? Si Joan Bondok, ba itong nasa harap natin? If we're going to use R1 as a way of answering this, sabi natin, hindi. It is just a representation of Joan Bondok in the form of a photograph. That's not Joan Bondok, masasalita ba yan? At saka late naman yan para maging si Joanne. Si Joanne, I mean, five. Well, I don't know, yung specific height ni Miss Joanne. No? Pero this is not Joanne Bondok. This is a representation of Joanne Bondok. A facsimile facsimile of, of Joanne Bondok in the form of a photograph. So may appearance of Joanne Bondok in the form of a photographic image. So if I'm going to ask you, is Joanne Bondok represented? She's not this photo, and yet this is a representation of Joan Bondo because it is a facsimile, facsimile of or a copy of Joan in a photograph. So in yung R1. So pagkakahawig. O ngayon tanong naman natin, gamit natin R2. So sa retratong ito, nakikibahagi ba si Joan Bondo sa Philippine photography? So, if we're going to use the definition that we used a while ago, then we can answer that, oh, si Joan Bondok yan at nakikibahagi si Joan Bondok sa Philippine photography kasi ginagampanan niya ang trabaho ng isang photographer or more specifically, photojournalist. Diba? So, if we ask, is Joan Bondok or is John Bondok represented in Philippine photography? We can say that yes, John Bondok is represented in Philippine photography as she is seen. Nakita natin siya doing photography. So kanina, pakiki, pagkakahawig, now we're saying that pakikibahagi. So I hope that's clear. Huh? So mamaya, mamaya, di discuss pa rin naman natin further. But at least I hope that's clear. So we are making a distinction between pagkakahawig as a representation at pakikibahagi as a representation. Pero nakita nyo, medyo layered yung, ano, yung discussion. So it's going to be more complicated as we go along. Yan. So contemporary photography, lumabas to parang last week lang. no? So ang tanong natin, so si Lenny ba ito? <laughs> Sabihin natin, syempre si Lenny yan. Pero yun nga, if we're going to use R1, which is pagkakahawig, it's not Lenny, but a representation of Lenny Robredo in the form of a photograph. Diba? Malino yan, ha? Pero tatanong natin, sa retratong ito, na ipapakita ba ang pagkababae? Probably, some of you would not be that definite in your answer kasi parang naiyo parang test yata to ni Tony no parang exam parang recitation so kung to 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 ano to to be safe na siguro pa lang sagot natin baka oo so yung mga estudyante ko minsan ganun baka oo kasi nakikita ng mga tao si Lenny na isang babae may assumption na kagad na babae si Lenny and yung babaeng Lenny na ipapakita sa retratong ito Dahil sa kulay rosas. Nagkataon din na yung kulay rosas ay ang ginamit ni Lenny Robredo 
na kulay sa kanyang kampanya bilang presidente. At it is also a symbol or a signifier ng plat platforma niya. So when you think pink and you think Lenny Robredo, it could mean a woman, but it can also refer to the political campaign, the participation in politics. Pero intrinsically built into that conversation is the color pink, which has its own connotations, and Lenny Robredo being a female, and the idea of platforms, politics, di ba? Ayun, nagiging intersectional na siya. Pero at least, I think sufficiently, we have answered these questions, no? So, ang tanong ngayon. So, tanong natin si Lenny ba ito? Siyempre, sasabihin pa rin natin, Tony, based sa discussion natin, hindi representation niya ni Lenny in the form of a photograph. Okay? Sige? Okay? So, pagkakahawig. However, pag tinanong natin to <coughs> sa retratong ito, naipapakita ba ang isang pag, ang, ang pagiging babae or pagkababae? <coughs> So, baka oo rin kasi nakikita ko pa rin yung mukha ni Lenny. It's still the same quote-unquote woman. So, nakikita natin ang mukha ni Lenny na isang babae nagpalit lang siya ng pananamit na pang lalaki kasi nga samurai costume. I do not know if it's a costume or it's a real armor. But nevertheless, If we're going to answer number two na nagpapakita ito ng pagkababae, are we saying it dahil we have an appearance of Lenny Robredo na inasume natin na babae and then nakikita natin yung face na dito and therefore that Lenny as the person, as the basis of this kung conclusion na sasabihin natin na nagpapakita, pinapakita dyan ng pagkababae kasi si Lenny pa rin naman yan, babae siya. However, the costume itself has its own connotations wherein samurais are warriors. So let's say, tanggalin natin si Lenny, pinata natin ng lalaki sa costume. Sabihin natin lalaki, pinata ng lalaki. So, may pagkababae ba dyan? Sabihin natin, obviously hindi na, kasi hindi na si Lenny yan. Lalaki na yung nilagay mo. So, ang question ngayon is, bakit si Lenny ba as the person is the basis of it being female? Yun ba yung root na yun? If that is the case, then you're saying gender is biological. Diba? Kasi if the determination of gender is Lenny, and we assume that Lenny is female, kahit na anong suotin niya, it's still Lenny. Then therefore, the distinction of what is female is Lenny. However, we're saying that it's not just about female. We're talking about gender. So if I ask you, is there womanness here? You're going to say, yes, womanness, because it's Lenny. Paikot-ikot tayo, Tony. And yet, you're saying that the basis of that, kasi pag tinanggal ko si Lenny dyan at pinalitan ko ng lalaki, quote-unquote lalaki, Then therefore, the basis of gender is the biological. Para na nangyari, inequate mo yung sex and gender, inequate mo siya. Kasi tinanggal ko yung biological distinction of Lenny, pilita ko ng quote-unquote male person. Then you're saying that masculinity and femininity is based on biology. Diba? I hope you're understanding it. Hindi kita, hindi pa yun nililil dito. Pero... I'm saying that yung kaya we have to understand the distinction between masculinity or sorry gender and biology or or at least the sex. So it's not an easy question. It's not also an easy answer. So if we, we go here, if I ask you, so sino ang tunay na Lenny? So yun yan, question ko. So who is Lenny? If we're going to refer it, let's say hindi natin alam, we don't have a, although yun nga, kasi again, part of gender is the idea that we have already information, we have a knowledge base on making judgments on what is gender. 
So yun yung yun yung pagiging pro problematic then in the discussion of gender because there is also some an assumption that there is basis there is an already a norm on how we define things in terms of language in terms of culture in terms of sex which is the biological and there's also semiotics here the semiotics is a, is a study of science wherein we say kanina that pinkness could be a color of femininity but it just happens that Lenny used also the same color in her campaign so parang nilaro niya yung idea of that color pink no the, the gendering purpose of of ano or at least the gendering property of of of, of pink parang chinin siya yung meaning of pink it becomes a a, a color of agency parang ganun, parang ganun yung gustong gawin ni Lenny sa campaign niya or at least nila bomb diba na pink is a color of agency. It's female power. Parang yun yan, diba? Female power. Diba? Kaya nga, we're... Oh, yun emphasize sa campaign ni Lenny na ako'y babae. Meron akong a certain framework of thinking. So, in-engender in niya rin yung concept of what is being female. And yet, in these photos, there's also a question of, so, is womanness a matter of appearance or is it participation so if we stick with the question no? so who is Lenny and the next question is who what how when where is a woman maybe it's a trick question but try to just think about it that when we think or at least when we ask what is a woman it's actual in in the conver conversation of what is gender it's not just a matter of what is a woman. It's how is a woman. It's who is a woman. And when is a woman. And where is a woman. And the third layer is that how did photography represent Lenny as a woman? Then you have to make a connection. I mean, it's, again, I'm not inventing anything. You can see it in, in front of you, no? It's a photograph. It's indexical. So yung mga teachers yan, para lang marinig nyo na, ah, may alam, meron naman palang basis tong teacher na to. So it's indexical. So somehow we can say that it's a photograph because it's indexical. And even if it's indexical, it somehow plays around with the idea of what we think of representation and gender. So ngayon, nagkakalo-halo-halo. Or sabi mo, Tony, actually, ikaw lang yung papakomplika. Not necessarily. If you if 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 you want to discuss gender, this is how complicated it is. Not complicated. It's layered na lang. Kasi even the word complicated, parang in-engender ko rin. I mean, sa mga teachers na nakikinig, we know that the term gender came from a dictionary and then we took it out of the gen... Uh, we took it out from a dictionary and then it got elevated to the level of ontology or the status of ontology. So... So yun, yun yung ano, yun yung yun yung mga exercises natin. So ngayon naglalaro ngayon yun. Okay, so I hope you are uh, you're getting it na. So yung konsepto of pakikibahagi at pagkakahawig minsan na interchange natin sila. In some cases we can easily make a distinction, but in some cases we cannot distinct each uh which is which. Kasi if you say that, where is the woman there? Sasabihin nyo, probably kulay or si Lenny, yung biological setup niya. Meron pang question na, where is a Lenny? Where is a woman? In in Japan. In the sense na, that Lenny that is in Japan wears a Japanese samurai armor is different, quote-unquote different, from what we perceive as Lenny in the Philippines. And yet, symbolically yan, the photo itself has affective properties wherein pwede natin sabihin na, yeah, I mean, ibig sabihin niyan, a woman is tough. Diba? Kasi nga, samurai, we have associations of what is a samurai. So therefore, a woman is tough. I mean, Lenny is tough. So ngayon, nagkakaroon ng parang associations na siya. So, so yun, yun yung, yun yung critical dyan. That, so I'm going to ask, siguro yung pinaka last to conclude lang this, this part, no? so mahaba pa to. At least at this part, if I'm going to ask you, is this the same Lenny? And we're going to reiter reiterate, is Lenny a woman? And if that is the case, what is, who is, how is, when is, or where is a woman? 
And lastly, how did photography quote unquote represent Lenny as a woman since we're talking about ano, gender? Pero again, male and female, that's sex. Diba? So marami pang, aside from the binary, narinig rin minsan yung discussion, discussions on, on binary thinking. So aside from male, female, masculine, feminine, there is things outside that binary distinctions. 